A number of practical ways are recommended for clamping PVC coated conduit. If a power drive unit that spins the conduit is used, the chuck should be equipped with inserts designed specifically for PVC coated conduit. These inserts are available through a local threading equipment distributor. When using a yoke style vise, it is recommended that the jaw assembly be replaced with JAWS 3 vise adapters. These adapters spread the clamping force over a larger area, which helps prevent spinning of the pipe during cutting and threading operations. For larger conduit in a chain style vise, half shell clamps are available to protect a large surface area during the clamping process. The aluminum nickel bronze clamps allow for a strong grip without damaging the exterior coating of the coated conduit. Half shell clamps are available in sizes 2 through 6 inches. Smaller conduit, from half inch to three quarter inch, can be secured in a vise by wrapping the area of the conduit to be clamped with emery cloth coarse side down. This will increase the friction created by the vise and help prevent spinning of the pipe, thereby reducing potential damage to the coating. Additionally, two pieces of angle iron approximately four to five inches long can be used to properly secure half inch to one and a half inch sized conduit in a chain style vise. Use a roller cutter to cut coated conduit. In addition to producing a square cut end, the roller cutter will remove approximately one quarter inch of the PVC coating, aiding in conduit threading. Use a reamer to remove any rough edges caused by the cutting operation. This ensures that the wire pulled through the conduit will not be damaged. Conventional manual or power saws may also be used to cut conduit, but it is essential to ensure that only straight cuts are made in order for the conduit to be properly threaded. Once conduit is reamed, the next step is threading. PVC coated conduit can be threaded with any standard threading tool. Larger model power threaders with open die heads require no modification beyond optional grip inserts for PVC coated conduit. If threading PVC coated aluminum, do not use the same dies that were used on PVC coated steel. Prior to beginning, make sure the threader is dispensing clean threading lubricant. This will aid in flushing away metal and PVC chips. To gauge the length of the threads, Place a factory applied thread protector on the cut end of the pipe. Use a sharpie or marker to mark the length. Hold a utility knife upside down and engage the foot pedal of the threader. The conduit will spin and a cut will be made around the circumference of the conduit. Next, make longitudinal cuts down the length of the conduit. Thread the conduit to the mark previously made. During threading, lubricant will dispense from the threader, flushing away metal and PVC chips. Some threaders are equipped to stop automatically. If conduit is to be threaded with a handheld device, it must be pencil cut before threading can occur. This will enable the die teeth on the threader to engage the conduit. The thread protector attached to one end of the conduit can be used to gauge the length of the cuts. Push the thread protector over the cut end of the conduit to be threaded. With a knife, cut around the circumference of the conduit through the PVC coating to the metal. This cut will indicate the starting point for the longitudinal cuts, and it will give an even ending to the PVC coating removed during threading. The longitudinal cuts will allow the PVC coating to be removed in small pieces instead of long strips that can follow the die head, causing the conduit to collapse. In the same manner as sharpening a pencil with a knife, cut away one quarter inch of the exterior coating. Be sure to use die heads specifically designed to be used with PVC coated conduit. 
Please note, when threading PVC coated aluminum conduit, always use new die heads. Never use the same die head to thread coated aluminum conduit and coated steel conduit. While threading, use a pump oiler with good quality thread cutting oil to flush away the metal and PVC chips. Once threading is complete, use a degreasing spray to clean the threads and the interior of the pipe. Use care not to contaminate the cutting oil with the degreasing spray. Degreasing is important in order to ensure that the thread compound will adhere to the unprotected steel. Bare steel resulting from field cut threads is the most vulnerable area to corrosion in any conduit system. Therefore, a thread compound must be used on all field cut threads and internal rings. Proper use of the thread compound will ensure a reliably sealed installation. Thread compound has been developed as a protection for bare metal and is available in pint cans. PVC coated conduit is available in a complete line of standard, special, and large radius elbows, ready for quick shipment. But when field bending is necessary, there are a variety of bending tools from which to choose. PVC coated conduit can be bent with conventional bending equipment. To accommodate the PVC coating when using a hand bender, always select the next larger size shoe. Use a hickey to reduce the possibility of damage to the conduit coating when making sharp bends, saddles, or offsets. Hand bending is only available for half inch to three quarter inch conduit. For optimum results, use equipment specially designed for bending coated conduit. Hydraulic and electric benders are available with shoes sized for PVC coated conduit. When bending PVC coated conduit with powered equipment, use rubbing alcohol to clean the inside of the shoe and the area of the conduit to be bent. Never use a lubricant on the shoe or conduit. Lubricants tend to allow the conduit to slip above the center line of the shoe, resulting in flattening of the elbow. Major manufacturers of bending equipment offer replacement shoes for coated conduit that can be ordered for existing equipment. Acceptable results can be obtained by machining out conventional shoes. Use shoes the same size as the conduit to be bent and remove approximately 6 one-hundredths of an inch from the inside of the shoe. Engineers working in conjunction with prominent manufacturers have developed special tools to aid in installation of PVC coated conduit systems. PVC touch-up compound is used to repair nicks, cuts, and abrasions to the outer surface of PVC coated conduit. Apply the exterior touch-up compound liberally over damaged areas. Because this material will not adhere to bare metal, it is advisable to overlap existing PVC coating. Sometimes it may be necessary to apply several coats in order to obtain adequate coverage. Allow the first coat to dry completely before applying additional coats. Another application for exterior touch-up compound is for use as a sealant at access fitting openings. In wet locations, apply thread compound to factory threads, assemble, then brush touch-up compound over the sleeve joints. PVC exterior touch-up compound is available in pints with a brush tip applicator. It is also available in a 12 ounce aerosol can where cosmetic coverage is desired. PVC touch-up compound, however, is not formulated or intended to bind to the metal substrate when damage penetrates the coating and exposes the metal substrate. For these cases, a PVC coating repair kit was developed using a custom formulated, you all recognized, two-part epoxy capable of bonding to both polyvinyl chloride and steel or aluminum substrates. The repair kit includes all tools needed to prepare a small surface prior to applying the epoxy patch. This includes an emery cloth to prepare the surface of the damaged area, the epoxy solution, cleaning cloths, mixing tools, mixing board, instruction sheet and chemical information, and an applicator tool for the compound. To repair the damaged surface of the coating, follow the enclosed instructions. First, use the emery cloth to prepare the surface of the damaged area, removing any debris and creating a good surface profile. Next, use the wet cleaning cloth to remove any excess debris and wipe the area dry with the dry cleaning cloth. Pour equal amounts of the compound from the mixing tube onto the enclosed cardboard mixing surface and use the mixing sticks to mix the compound completely until it is dark gray in color. Once fully mixed, use the enclosed applicator to apply an even coating to the damaged area. The compound will adhere to both the PVC and the metal surface. Several coats may be necessary. The PVC coating repair kit uses a two-part epoxy cold weld system that creates a permanent bond that can be shaped, styled, and sanded after curing. 
The PVC coating repair kit epoxy sets in 6 minutes and cures in 3-4 to four hours to a dark grey color that matches Rob Roy's existing PVC coating. Z-wrenches are designed to replace standard adjustable pliers. Z-wrenches feature extra-wide jaws which spread the clamping force, enabling the tools to grip securely without marring the surface of the conduit. The V-shaped upper jaw allows the wrench to accommodate a wide range of conduit sizes. Shallow grooves in the upper and lower jaws provide an excellent grip. Z-wrenches are available in two sizes to fit half-inch through two-and-a-half-inch conduit. With a spinet, conduit can be tightened much faster than with a conventional tool, and the spinet never touches the coating. Labor and time are saved because no touch-up is necessary for marks from wrenches or pliers. Use a half-inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for three-quarter inch and one-inch conduit, and a three-quarter inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for sizes one and a quarter through two inches. A special PVC hickey is available to reduce the possibility of damage during conduit bending. It can be used to bend half inch and three quarter inch conduit by inserting an uncoated stick of one and a quarter inch conduit into the threaded hole and using it to create leverage for the bend. Jaws 3 is a set of three aluminum nickel bronze vice jaws designed to replace the regular jaws in a pipe vise. Jaws 3 protects PVC coated conduit from damage during cutting and threading. These replacement jaws spread the clamping force over a much larger area, greatly reducing the possibility of the pipe spinning in the vise during cutting and threading operations. One set of Jaws 3 handles half inch through one and a half inch conduit. When ordering Jaws 3, be sure to specify the vise model that you are using. Use the plastic socket and standard 3 8 inch ratchet to speed up U-bolt and beam clamp installation. The plastic socket prevents abrasion and cracking of encapsulated nuts, which may be caused by pliers or wrenches, and it assures a tight seal between the nut and the saddle. The 3 8 inch plastic socket fits nuts for half inch through two inch clamps. The 5 8 inch plastic socket fits nuts for two and a half inch and larger sizes. Both plastic sockets fit a standard 3 8 inch drive ratchet wrench. One of the most common causes of corrosion is exposed threads at points of connection, especially when a sleeve at the female thread is unavailable. Most electrical fittings can be coated, but in the instance the product is unable to be coated, Rob Roy Industries has developed the PVC coated sealing lock nut, a simple detachable sleeve that provides a consistent seal over exposed conduit threads. It has a built-in gasket at the face of the lock nut to provide a positive seal against ingress of water, oils, and other liquids. On the reverse side of the lock nut, an integral sleeve is designed to fit securely over the circumference of the adjacent coated conduit. The PVC sealing lock nut's extra thin construction allows it to thread on only two and a half threads, leaving at least seven threads for complete engagement of the conduit to its connected fitting for safe installation. The gasket and sleeve are made of specially formulated and UL recognized PVC materials tested for aging resistant compressive and tensile properties, ensuring the gasket and sleeve will retain their sealing and corrosion resistant capabilities throughout their service. The sealing lock nut's simple design allows for easy installation and tightening over conduit threads at joints throughout the system. The only tools required for tightening include a strap wrench and lubricant to assist the fitted sleeve over the PVC coated conduit. The PVC coated sealing lock nut is designed to help create a sealed system that lasts in the harshest environments and protects electrical infrastructure from corrosion. The PVC coated speed couple is used to quickly and easily install PVC coated rigid conduit and elbows. It is rated for direct burial and ideal for tight space applications. The PVC coated speed couple allows you to complete connections without having to turn the conduit or elbow. To install the speed couple, first tighten the set screw on the central body of the coupling and thread the larger OD of the coupling onto the conduit or elbow. Use care to ensure the coupling and conduit or elbow are properly aligned to avoid cross-threading. Once the coupling is attached, use a Z-wrench or a strap wrench to tighten it onto the conduit or elbow. Next you will loosen the set screw located in the central body of the coupling. This will disengage the internal swivel ring and allow the coupling to move to allow for proper alignment with the second piece of conduit or elbow. With the coated coupling and the conduit properly aligned, thread the other end, the smaller OD of the coupling, onto the conduit or elbow. Tighten both ends as necessary with a Z-wrench or strap wrench so as not to damage the outside PVC coating. Tighten the set screw to lock the internal swivel ring in place.
An important listing when it comes to installing PVC coated conduit systems is UL1203, which is the safety standard for safety explosion proof and dust ignition proof electrical equipment for use in hazardous or classified areas. This listing is available on conduit unions, GUA series outlet boxes, ceiling fittings, and EC series couplings. One way to visually verify if a product is UL1203 listed is whether or not a metal tag is permanently attached, displaying manufacturer information, product information, electrical ratings, area classification, and UL information. In addition, all ceiling fittings from Rob Roy Industries are equipped with the patented P5SA feature, which allows for visual verification of plug engagement. Special tooling was designed to create a beveled edge during the coating process. This gives additional insurance to both installers and inspectors that the urethane-coated plugs are correctly engaged the first time every time by means of visual confirmation. When the plug is properly engaged, it will not protrude beyond the beveled edge of the PVC around the plug, validating that there are five full threads of engagement, which is critical for safe installation and a proper flame path. Another useful feature that can be found on all product labels is the enhanced UL certification mark. This feature provides streamlined access to the UL Smart Marks Hub, which provides important compliance data, product information, and proper installation instructions via smart devices. Buy rigid metal PVC coated conduit and fittings, install them with proper tools, follow proven procedures, and expect a superior, long-lasting, corrosion-resistant system that pays for itself with lower maintenance costs and reduced downtime. With PVC-coated conduit, you can install it and forget it.